Matt Stepp, Dave Campbell's Texas Football back here at the Texas High School Coaches Association and Convention, day two. And we're here with the head coach of those Hampshire Fanette Longhorns, Coach Mark Wagner. Uh, coach, appreciate you taking a few minutes to chat with us uh, on a busy uh, Monday morning. Yeah, thanks for having us, Matt. This is exciting. It, it's, you know, we were talking offline. I, I won't date you, but you, this is not your first rodeo here at Coaching <laughs> School. You've been around for a while. For a while. And, and every year when you come to Coaching School, you, you know when you leave here, it, it, it's really time to get going. You know, the, the, the meetings begin and, and – and, Summer strength and conditioning wraps up, and it's really – it's f football season's here, isn't it? Yeah, it's my favorite time of the year, coming to the convention, and you get to see everybody that you've seen for all the years, and you catch up a little bit. But then you're reminded that, hey, we're going to get started, and <clears throat> everybody's got a chance at this point. Everybody's it's undefeated. It's great. I, I love yeah, the two-a-day or what the longer days. I can't say two-a-days anymore. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But I love the start of it his, and his the scrimmages and, and all the coaches and all, all the right. kids are so excited about your season and uh, – Nothing bad's happened, no injuries yet, no nothing. You know, it's just fun. It's yeah. a lot of fun. And the convention's grown so much, and, you know, it's great to be in Houston. There's all these great events. You get the basketball court, volleyball court. They got they got some turf set up for football drills. And, yeah, it's and so things, cool. The, the things that they have here is just unbelievable. And, and, I mean, I know even the coaches walk around, and, you know, and you're, you're used to seeing vendors and being at these events, but some of them walk around like, like a kid in a candy store, just all the cool things that are here. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's such a grand scale. You know, you go to some mini clinics, too, and then, and maybe some of your younger coaches have only been to a mini clinic first, mm -hmm. and then they Those come to the – Those winter clinics, right? Yeah, the winter yeah. clinics, yeah. you know, just real quick ones. And then they come here, and their eyes are just big and wide. And But it's so exciting, and, and they, you can see that, hey, this is what it's all about. And it all comes together for them. It's yes, cool. sir. Cool. Now let's talk about your ball club uh, sure. here heading into 2023. Uh, great 2022 season. You guys uh, made a little noise down there in the yeah. Golden Triangle. Yeah. And uh, you've been – last couple of summers, you guys have done great on the 7-on-7 seven -on -seven circuit, uh, making some deep runs and making some noise there in 7-on-7. Seven -seven. For you personally, um, I know you guys play a lot of 7-on-7. Seven -seven. Do you feel like that's something that um, – how, does that benefit your program? And then do you feel like there's some carryover, that success that you have in the summer, does it, can that carry over for you guys in the fall? I think you're right on. I, I, ever since, uh, hell, I'm thinking 1997, probably when we got going in 707, and I'm just a big believer. It's like an extra season. Mm -hmm. And especially for 4A ball clubs and below, if you could play that, you know, you're not, you don't get the spring ball. And so you're actually, it's, it's taking the place of that. Mm -hmm. And then with the lineman challenges and stuff, your line is engaged as well. And so you're getting your spring work there. And it does catapult into your season. Whether you're successful in it or you're not successful, you're, it's, 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 you're running your stuff again. Mm -hmm. You know, your plays, your stuff, they're getting together. And you're getting to see kids move. And so that's the hard things for coaches are maybe putting them in those positions, and especially with smaller schools that are having to go both ways. Yeah, yeah. So you can see some, and you're developing depth. Uh, seven on seven is huge for us. Yeah. And then, you know, your ball club, you guys got to be ready to go in, in, in the season because because your district, 9-4A Division two is, I, I would say, you, you, you know, you're closer to it than I am, one of the best districts in the state, if not maybe the best district in all the state in Class 4A Division two because of the power top to bottom. There's going to be at least one really good football team that would make the playoffs and win a lot of other districts that's not even going to make the playoffs in your district. It's, it's a tough group, isn't it? And we appreciate the recognition there. You know, it's when you're from a particular area, you know your area, and, and I'm sure there's a lot of tough districts out there. Um, but I've been around a long time, and I've been in the state of Texas for, forever, and I'm telling you, this, this 4A district, uh, talent-wise, is loaded. And, and coaching staff – hey, Lisa, I see you there. And uh, – it's uh, from a coaching staff from all these these great schools that we play with. Uh, they're they're very good and they're very experienced. Yeah. And you're talking about you're talking about certain schools like Jasper. They they have four D ones and 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 Silsby and Western Stark. And Western Stark's the winning is uh, the yeah. winning percentage in, in the state of Texas yeah. of all time. I mean, a lot of great and coaches, a lot of great athletes, right? Yes. It's it's unbelievable. It's a gauntlet. And and like we say, I mean, you can finish fourth in our district. And you could still be in the regional semifinals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's that good. It's that talented, and and um, I, th I think that district really deserves the respect that it should. It it, should. It's, it's fun and scary at the same time, right? Because you know, I'm sure when you're popping on the tape, you're like, "Man, these guys are really good too. We got to be ready to go." You know, you're having to break down film, and you got to tell your kids, "Hey, we got to be ready." Is it one of those deals when when, you, when you're in a district that, that that's that difficult? Do you just have to not worry about everyone else and just kind of focus on us? Like we we got to be we have to be on our on our A game no matter what yeah. because if not the team that's across from us is good enough to beat us. Is that one of those deals where you obviously you're gonna, you're going to game plan you're going to scheme for your opponent but is it more about we got to focus on us let's let's take care of us and then see what happens on Friday night. I can tell you've been around a long time so you know yeah it's it's about us and we never I don't even think about the opponent that week really it's about us 
Now, obviously, game planning for Schemes each one. Yes, stuff. sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. But you know that every one of those opponents, somebody's going to end up the winner or the loser, and it's usually going to come down to a couple plays. And it always does in this district for yeah. us. I mean, it's the last seconds. I mean, the last seconds of the ball game. It's that competitive. And But we really, really focus on the Hampshire Fournette Longhorns more so than – than the other opponents. So looking at you guys, what what do you guys need to do well in 2023 to exceed? You're obviously very successful in 2022, yes. but I know you want to you want to push the envelope and go go as far as you can. So what what do you guys need to do in what if you guys are going to be successful? What's got to happen for you guys in 2023? Well, the number one thing for us was was depth. We lost two of our key football players in the first football game last year, and so we were spinning all year long. They never, they didn't come back. And uh, so it, it caused a depth issue, especially early, especially when it's hot. Mm. But now what, what's happened is uh, what people don't know also is our junior varsity football team wa- was an undefeated football team. I heard, and, some, and I heard some stories that your JV was very strong last yeah, year. Yeah, unscored them. I mean, you know, so they – we have a, lo- a lot of sophomores that are coming up that now help, help us with the depth issue that we were having. And so for the first time in our six years here, uh, depth should not be an issue. That's going to be – that's taken care of. Now – we have to replace a couple of key linebackers on the defensive side. And if we can do that, uh, we should be able to take it another step this year. Okay. All right, final question for you, Coach. Um, uh, you got some, I saw your, your staff. You got a few younger guys on your staff that were yeah. over there earlier. Yeah. Uh, what's your advice to any, not just you guys and your staff, but any young coach who may be watching this interview, first, second-year coach that's at coaching school, what, what would be your advice to them on coming to coaching school? What would be the first thing you tell them? I would think when you're coming to coaching school, make sure that you're – uh, your appearance is professional. Um, everybody that you run into is a potential employer, uh, and a, t- a potential friend, somebody that you're going to learn from, you're going to borrow from. Um, all those first impressions are huge, and, and that's what I usually tell my guys. Uh, make sure you present yourself well. Make sure you meet everybody that you can, and um, just get yourself out there Yeah. Um, and, and get exposed. You know, it's uh, it's it does a lot. They, they don't understand the benefits down the road mm-hmm. that occur w- just through the friendships that you yeah, form in you, life. You, you never know you can be meet, you, you meeting your future boss in here at some point. Yeah, so. and you know it, Matt. It's like in life, it's it's the it's who you know yeah. that, that, that gets you places. Yeah. Well, Coach, uh, enjoy the rest of coaching school. I'm sure you got your notepad ready ready, ready, to, ready, to, ready to take a nugget or two back to Hampshire Finette. Uh, appreciate what you do for student-athletes in the state of Texas. Thanks and for having good us, good luck Matt. in 2023. Thank you, sir. Thanks, we Coach. appreciate it.